Ben, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, your rocket ship chalk drawing that's out there in the corner of campus. All right, so a uh, couple weeks, probably like three weeks ago, actually last year I started uh, talking to Mrs. Zoe and uh, I asked her about doing a chalk drawing and um, she was, she apparently had been wanting to do it for a long time. I thought it would be a cool idea. Um, but I didn't really have any ambition to do it last year, and so, um, yeah, like this year it actually happened. <laughs> Sweet. So, what made you choose a rocket ship as opposed to like a landscape or a portrait or like a phrase? Uh, in the middle of the thing, just like a rocket ship coming out. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Just. Thought it would look cool. <laughs> like a cool idea. Yeah. Um, do you, did you look at any other kind of street art and chalk drawings or paintings yeah, before? Yeah, I did. I looked at, um, there was one in particular that I saw, and it's kind of similar to that. Um, it was a brick, it was on bricks, um, and they did it, and it looked like um, what you see the um, couple feet of um, concrete drop, and then it was, they had a like a view of the whole world. It wasn't so, instead of like a rocket ship in space. Why don't you uh, take us through the process of how you come up with an idea like that? Do you write it out, draw it out on a piece of paper first? Do you make a mini chalk drawing or just start on the big, big attempt? <laughs> uh, what I did for this one, um, I just had the idea and I looked at a bunch of pictures and um, uh, what I did first is I took a picture of the of the area I was doing it in and then just kind of did a little finger drawing over it. Um, and then that just kind of gave me some scale of where it would be and then I took a like some pink chalk, outlined the outside, um, and then did one step at a time. First the concrete and then space and then whatnot. Okay, um, so um, for those people that haven't seen it, it's actually really big. It's not a small thing at all. It's it's huge. So how do you avoid stepping on parts of it and smearing it and just kind of keeping it intact with all the wind and stuff that comes around? Um, well, I had some people working on it um, earlier on and or just throughout the thing from study halls and um, my drawing class. And what I would tell them is you can step on um, certain parts don't step on the black. Um, try to stay on the outside. Um, don't. I don't care if you step on the rocket because it's easy to fix. You just smear it with your hand. Um, but the big no-no was kicking over the water bucket because if you kicked over the bucket, like like water. Then Ben's after. gonna have you kick the bucket. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you kick the bucket. Now, how does this chalk drawing compare to other pieces that you've done? Because you had your art showcase, which is like a lot of pencil sketches and pen drawings. And so how does this compare to that? Uh, it's a whole new world. Uh, <laughs> I've done, I've done the biggest ch like charcoal um, pastel thing I've done is probably on a thing like, like the actual piece was like that big. It wasn't. So this is bigger than anything I've ever done. Nice. Um, obviously. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, that's probably the biggest factor. <laughs> it's just. Humorous. And so, how far along are you on your rocket ship journey? Are you almost done with it, or are you finished? Yeah, I'll probably. I'll. Um, I've got about a day more to do. Um, just have to work on the door and the windows, and then a couple touch-ups around the edges. But that's about it. Where does this rank in your favorite projects? Would you say this is one of your favorites or just a fun experience that you um, don't really care for that much? Oh, I definitely care for it. Um, I think it was really cool, um, especially because it's out and about. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's different um, than anything I've done. So it definitely goes up in favorites just for that. Um, but I wouldn't say it's my most favorite just because I have a lot of other stuff, but it's, it's definitely up there.